first pedals. It should be an easy one as we all know that first pedals have a square waveform. But is it so? So we're gonna see this first phase for example, which is the two transistors, germanium transistors. This companion Shin I, which has a little bit more transistor. My pedal, which is germanium first two. And more complicated pedals, which, are, which have a lot of uh, transistors and sync, a very complicated circuitry. And we see uh, what the waveform will look like. So let's start with the first phase. So we're sending, as always, a sine wave from this signal generator here into the pedal and in the oscilloscope. So there's no buffer in this pedal. So if we turn it on, we have to adjust the oscilloscope because it's a different impedance. And we see it's really a square wave, no problem with that. If we turn up the volume, and the fuzz doesn't affect the wave very much but it's a square wave that's for sure so now a little magic there it is I've turned this first face it was a 19 ratio I turned into an original one this is a 67 with the original NKT 275 transistors and we see that this square wave is not exactly the same. It has uh, some slope here and there. So maybe this could be the difference between the vintage first face and the newer one. So it was interesting to see the difference between the two. Next one is a companion Shina and Fuzz. This pedal is supposed to have a very square waveform sound. But we see on the oscilloscope that it's quite different. It's done this, this with the fuzz on zero. If we adjust the fuzz, we raise it. It's even more complicated waveform. You will see it does nothing to do. It's very different from a classic square wave. It has some weird indentation. So it's different that it could be expected on a square wave first pedal tone that it is associated with this pedal you see that's the maximum fuzz there's this very high peak here now it's my own pedal the Mercer box which is our first pedal based on germanium transistors and it's here now set it in the less uh, fuse possible. And we see that the waveform is quite different. There's two peaks on the squares. If we turn up the fuzz, we see that it gradually takes this form. There's also another setting here, which forms the pedal much more like Jimmy Hendrix Town and this is like ACDC. You see that the waveform are quite complicated. You can really adjust the waveform in different types of square waves. It's possible to to get to the nearly square wave. Uh, this is the original tone, which is a square width. I turn down the volume uh, because it's more powerful than the, than the other ones. So um, it's a square wave with a slope. It's half square, half sine of something. <laughs> Very interesting to see that. This pedal is from the Nobles Company. It's a vintage pedal from the Nobles Company of the same era than was the ODL one. This is a fuzz and it has sort of the opposite waveform of my pedal which is a square wave with a sign but differently placed. So let's um, adjust again. It doesn't uh, change the pedal a lot. of The tone, it's really interesting to see what it does because with the tone at the maximum it's more like a square wave. So, um, interesting sort of pedal. 
but it's still quite simple. And the last pedal of this roundup is uh, FZ3 from Boss. It's supposed to be the, um, the best first pedal Boss has issued ever. And we see that the waveform is quite different once again from a simple square wave. It has some different slopes from Boss side. It seems like uh, the union of my Mercer box with the Nobos Fuzz and it does the, the two slopes in the different side. So if we adjust the, the, the tone, we we'll just have a little bit more. That's still the same. So it keeps the same form. It's a different pedal, that's for sure. And the level is quite low because we very different from the other pedal. It's quite low. But the shape is interesting. It's sort of a mix of the two slopes. But we have seen that with this pedal, the, the forms are the waveforms are quite different from a square, except for the first face. So that's it for the first pedal roundups on the oscilloscope. And we have seen that the results are quite surprising. There were very different waveforms, except for the first first face pedal, which was really a square. But the other ones, were, which has a different circuitry, maybe more complicated. Have, uh, have all a uh, different waveform. Once again, the disclaimer, there is nothing scientific in this uh, approach. It's only to see what it does on an oscilloscope, so we cannot uh, go reach to conclusion for the tone. But it could be interesting to see why this pedal with this uh, waveform could sound like this with an amplifier. It could be another interesting thing to do. And uh, excuse my English again, and most of all, thank you for watching.